वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू शिक्षा फिर सिस्टी एंड टूडे बेसिकली वी विल डिस्कस चैप्टर नंबर फाइव ऑफ एबीएम एमसीक्यू क्लियर ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर फाइव एबीएम एमसीक्यू क्लियर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट अवर टुडे डिस्कशन एंड आई रिक्वेस्ट टू ऑल ऑफ यू बेसिकली होप यू हैव गॉन थ्रू द सेशंस बेसिकली ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर फाइव सो लेट्स स्टार्ट डिस्कशन वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन बट टोटली बेसिकली थ्योरी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन बेसिकली फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर बेसिकली दे हैव आस्क्ड क्लियर सो दिस इज बेसिकली सेट नंबर 13 एंड सेट नंबर 13 बेसिकली बिलोंग्स फ्रॉम द chapter number 5 clear chapter number 5 and in this session basically we have to discuss question number 151 to 165 clear question number 151 to 165 clear so let's start our discussion so question number 151 basically on your screens now please go through the question what this says that clear basically in the case of exports clear basically in the case of exports basically through approved indian owned warehouse is approved clear basically through indian owned warehouse is abroad the time limit for realization clear basically the time limit basically for realization would be dash months clear basically would be dash months clear so in the case of exports basically through approved indian owned warehouses clear through approved indian owned warehouses abroad the time limit clear basically the time limit for the realization of the for the realization basically would be dash months 6 months 12 months 15 months 18 months please tell fast what is the correct answer clear please tell fast what is the correct answer clear please tell fast here basically what is the correct answer the correct answer here is to basically 15 months clear the correct answer here is to basically 15 months clear the correct answer here is to basically 15 months clear that is basically this basically we have discussed under basically advances against export on consignment basis clear on consignment basis clear please remember these points they especially mentioned that is basically in the case of exports basically through approved indian owned warehouses abroad the time limit for realization basically would be 15 months clear basically would be 15 months now move to the next question question number 152 152 i expect all of you basically will give the correct answer of this question clear i expect all of you basically will give the correct answer of this question clear basically bill of entry bill of entry basically it is required clear basically bill of entry basically is required to show that the goods have been exported out of the country the invoice contains fair price and there is no over or under invoicing clear basically bill of entry third one is basically the goods have come into the country of the import fourth one is basically the importer has paid the import bill clear the importer has paid the import bill clear so what is the correct answer here clear so what is the correct answer here the bill of entry basically it shows that the goods have come into the country of export clear basically have come into the country of import clear so this one is our answer i think this question basically we have discussed in the set number 12 also as basically i think question number 137 clear this question basically we have already discussed clear same question again here now move to the next basically 153 question number clear 153 question number important for the examination point of view clear important for the examination point of view clear that is basically i think uh, related to the reduction in the invoice value clear that is basically related to the reduction in the invoice value clear so let's discuss what it says that so basically where the export bill where the export bill basically has been negotiated or sent for collection if a reduction in invoice value is required to be allowed clear basically if a reduction in invoice value clear basically if a reduction in invoice value is required to be allowed authorized dealer basically can approve the reduction clear if a reduction in the invoice value is required to be allowed basically authorized dealers can approve the reduction clear basically authorized dealers basically can approve the reduction if satisfied clear if satisfied basically about the genuineness of the request clear basically if satisfied basically about the genuineness of the request provided the reduction does not exceed clear basically how much basically provided the reduction does not exceed dash percentage of the invoice value clear reduction does not increase basically dash percentage of the invoice value the reduction is not respect is not in the respect of commodity basically subject to the minimum price restrictions clear and the exporter basically should not be in the exporter caution list of the rb clear these are the some of the conditions clear basically for the reduction in the invoice value clear basically for what basically for the reduction in the invoice value clear 
So what is the correct answer here? Clear. So what is the correct answer here? Clear. That is basically how much a reduction. Clear. A reduction does not exceed. Clear. That is maximum reduction. Fifteen percent, ten percent, twenty percent, or twenty-five percent. Clear. That the maximum reduction is to be basically twenty-five percent. Clear. Does not exceed basically twenty-five percent. Clear. So option number D is the correct answer. Clear. Option number D is the correct answer. Clear. Further, there is one more condition. Clear. The reduction can be allowed. Clear. Clear. The reduction basically can be allowed, basically without any percentage restriction. Clear. The reduction basically can be allowed, basically without any percentage restriction. Basically, in the case of exporter, clear. Basically, in the case of exporter having export business, having export business, basically for the last three years, for last three years. And their track record is also satisfactory. Clear. And their track record is also satisfactory. Clear. And their track record is also satisfactory. Clear. So please take care regarding all these things. Clear. Basically, while answering the question. Clear. Please remember all these things. Basically, while answering the question. Clear. These are very very important for the examination point of view. Clear. Now move to the next question. Question number one hundred fifty-four. Clear. Now move to the next question. Question number one hundred fifty-four. Clear. So the credit delivery. Clear. Basically, the credit directly extended by the overseas supplier. Clear. The credit basically directly extended by the overseas supplier of goods to the importer is called the credit basically directly extended by the overseas supplier of goods basically to the importer. It is called as buyer's credit. Suppliers credit, trade credit, external commercial borrowing. Clear external commercial borrowing. Clear. These concepts basically we have already discussed in detail in the chapter number six. Clear. Not detail in detail discussion in chapter number five. Basically, what in chapter number six. Clear. Basically, we have discussed all these things. Clear. While discussing the concept. Clear. So the basically the credit delivery. The credit the credit directly extended by the overseas supplier. The clear the credit directly extended basically by the overseas supplier of the goods basically to the importer basically it is called clear basically to the importer it is basically called as buyer's credit, supplier's credit, tax trade credit, or external commercial borrowings clear basically or external commercial borrowings clear. So basically, what is the correct answer clear? So what is the correct answer under that? The correct answer is option number B. Clear. So basically, in that case, the correct answer is option number B. That is supplier's credit. Clear. The correct answer of that basically is supplier's credit. Option number B is the correct answer. Now move to the next question. Question number one hundred fifty-five. Clear. Question number one hundred fifty-five. So please go through the question very carefully. Effective date of realization of a foreign currency export bill is clear. Effective date. Of realization of a foreign currency export bill is date on which the drawee pays the bill, date on which the nostro account of exporter's bank is credited, date on which the nostro account of exporter's credited, or date on which the vostro account is debited. Clear? Date on which the vostro account is debited. Clear? So what is the correct answer of that question? Clear? Effective date of realization. Clear? Basically, effective date of realization. Of a foreign currency export bill, clear effective date of realization basically of the foreign currency export bill, clear basically it is the date on which the nostro account, clear basically on which the nostro account of exporter's bank is credited, clear basically of of exporter's bank is a credited, clear. So this is the effective date of realization basically in the case of foreign currency export bills, clear. In the case of foreign currency export bills, clear. And there is one more question basically in the case of rupee bills. Clear in the case of rupee bills, the effective date of realization. Clear basically in the case of rupee bills, the basically what is the effective date in the case of rupee bills? Clear in the case of rupee bills, the effective date of realization basically is the date. Please tell us 
is the date on which the is the date of debit clear is the date of debit yes this one clear date on which the wash to account is debited clear this one is the answer clear in the case of rupee bills clear in the case of rupee bills basically effective date of realization basically it is the date on which the wash to account is debited clear it is the date basically on which the wash to account is debited clear basically on which the wash to account is debited clear so please remember all these things clear so please remember all these things while answering the question clear basically while answering the question basically please remember all these things clear so basically in the case of foreign currency export bills option number b is the answer and in the case of rupee bills clear the effective date of realization basically option number d is the answer clear option number d is the answer now move to the next one clear now move to the next one clear student basically who are facing issue please go through the video sessions clear so that you are able to remember all these points clear now next one question number 156 clear mr a participated basically in an international trade fair clear basically mr a basically participated in an international trade fair he opened there a foreign currency account clear basically he opened there a foreign currency account so at the close of the fair clear basically at the end of the fair his outstanding balance basically stood at how much outstanding balance basically us dollar 26500 clear basically outstanding balance that is basically us dollar 26500 clear 26500 so he may first one is basically continue to keep the account as long as he desires second one basically repatriate the balance basically to india basically within one month third point is basically repatriate the balance basically to india basically within one week or fourth one is basically repatriate the balance basically to india basically within one year clear repatriate the balance basically within india within one year clear basically within one year clear so basically what is the correct answer here so basically what is the correct answer here continue to keep the account basically as long as he desires second one is repatriate the balance basically to india basically within one month clear so the correct answer is that is basically option number b that is they have to repatriate the balance clear they have to repatriate the balance to india basically within one month clear basically within one month clear please tell fast it is clear to all of you option number b is the correct answer now move to the next question 157 this point basically we have discussed in the yesterday session clear regarding the normal transit period clear regarding the normal transit period clear i hope all of you are remember that basically we have discussed in the case of site bills also and in the case of yuan bills also so here normal transit period clear basically applicable to the export bills on the bangladesh 15 days 21 days 25 days none of this clear the correct answer here is to be 25 days clear the correct answer here is to be basically 25 days clear so option number c is the answer that is 25 days clear so the correct answer here is to be basically 25 days now move to the next question 158 clear now move to the next question that is question number 158 clear so which of the following regulations clear which of the following regulation basically governs payment of imports of goods clear basically which of the following regulations basically governs payment of import of goods basically into india on the basis of fma 1999 clear basically on the basis of fma 1999 clear first one here basically it is the trade regulations b option is basically exchange control regulations c option is basically exim policy d option is none of the above clear basically none of these or none of the above clear so please tell what is the correct answer clear so basically which of the following regulations clear basically which of the following regulations basically used basically or basically governs payment of the imports clear basically payment of the imports of goods basically into india clear basically payment of the imports of goods basically into india on the basis of fma 1999 clear first one is the trade regulations second one is basically the exchange control regulation third one is the exim policy d option is none of this clear d option is none of this clear so the correct answer is that is basically exchange control regulations clear the correct answer here basically that is exchange control regulations clear
So option number B is the correct answer. Clear option number B is the correct answer. Clear. Now move to the next question. Question number 159. Clear 159. So basically export under the Foreign Exchange Management Act. Clear that is same FEMA. 1999. Clear basically exports basically under the FEMA 1999 means. First one is basically the taking out of India to a place outside India. Any goods clear basically for taking out of India to a place outside India. Any goods B option is that is provision of services basically from India to any person outside India. C option is basically both of the above. D option is none of the above. Clear. C option is basically both of the above and D option is basically none of the above. Clear. So please correct, tell fast what is the correct answer in this case. Clear. Basically exports under the Foreign Exchange Management Act 1999 basically means the taking out of goods basically to a place outside India basically any goods. This one is correct or not? Yes. This one is correct here. B option is that is basically provision of services basically from India to any person outside India. This one is also correct. Clear. So here basically both the A and B are correct here. So C option is the correct answer that is both the above clear c option is correct that is both the above clear so please remember all these points clear please remember all these points clear these types of question basically you are able to understand only if you have gone through the concept and gone through the theory part very carefully clear or gone through the videos very carefully clear because we have discussed everything in detail at that place so now move to the next question 160 easy question it looks like basically it is belong from chapter number one basically what very easy question just go through the question and try to tell basically what is the correct answer under that. Clear? So let's start. So an Indian bank basically wants to find their nostro account. Clear? An Indian bank basically wants to find their nostro account basically with the US correspondent. By US, how much US dollar? That is US 5 lakh dollar against Indian rupees. Clear? Where interbank rate? Clear? Basically where interbank rate is that is US 1 dollar is equal to rupees 47.20. The deal is struck and the overseas bank's Vostro account that is basically being maintained with the Indian bank will be credited. Clear basically will be credited. Clear. So basically the overseas bank Vostro account basically here it is will be credited so that it will be that is buying rate will be used. Clear. So at that rate basically buying rate basically will be used. Clear. That is other countries bank than the overseas bank's Vostro account. Clear. That is basically they are maintained in India. Clear. It will be credited. Clear. It will be credited. Clear. So they have to how much US dollar is basically 5 lakh. So just basically total amount. Here basically we have to find that total amount. Clear 47.20 into US dollar 5. Because 1 dollar is equal to 47.20. Clear. So this much a dollar multiply it one. Basically, we will get like. 2 lakh, sorry, 2 crore 36 lakh. So this one is our answer. Clear. So this one is our answer. Clear. So let's repeat. I will again basically. And Indian bank, clear, basically wants to find their Nostro account with the US correspondent bank by US dollars. Clear. Against Indian rupees. Clear. Basically, against Indian rupees. Clear. They want this much amount. Clear. Against Indian rupees. Where interbank rate is this one clear basically where interbank rate is this one clear so the deal is done between them clear the deal is struck and the overseas clear and the overseas bank Vostro account clear and the overseas bank basically Vostro account that is basically being maintained with the Indian bank basically will be credited by how much amount clear basically will be credited by how much amount clear just basically they have given the rate so basically here basically buying rate basically will be used. So multiply it by total value. Clear. So multiply it by total value. So basically we will get this one is our answer. Clear. So hope it is clear to all of you. Please tell fast if you have any doubt, any query regarding any question. Clear. You can ask your doubts. Now move to the next question. Basically through a theory based question. Clear. Totally theory based question. That is the RBI. Basically first introduced the scheme of export financing. Basically in which year? Clear. The RBI basically first introduced. The scheme of basically export financing basically in which year? Clear? 1952, 1955, 1962, and 1967. Clear? So, what is the correct answer? Clear? So, the RBA basically introduced the scheme of export financing basically in 1957. Clear? Sorry, 1967. Clear? Option number D is the answer that is in 1967. Clear? This one is our answer. And here, basically, one question basically I will ask from all of you basically what is the full form of DGFT? 
DGFT clear and DGFT clear. And there is one more thing, basically, what is the full form of IEC? Please tell fast. What is the full form of DGFT here? What is the full form of IEC clear? Because IEC basically it is a number clear that is basically obtained from the DGFT clear that is basically obtained from the DGFT clear basically for the exporters clear for the exporters. DGFT basically stands for basically Director General of Director General of Foreign Trade clear Director General of Foreign Trade. And IEC basically stands for IEC basically stands for importer exporter code clear importer exporter code clear importer exporter code clear please remember importer exporter code not import export code clear import not import export that is importer exporter code clear so please remember these points clear please remember these points clear now move to the next one question number. 162 clear basically 162 clear hope all of you have basically gone through that portion the running account facility clear that is basically running account facility will be extended to clear the running account facility basically will can be extended to clear first of that is basically it can be extended to basically only those exporters having great basically good track record clear basically having good track record clear basically but here here basically they are asking first one is basically exporters with a good track record clear basically exporters basically would good track record clear so option number a is correct one clear now basically we have to move the option number b also clear now basically we have to move the option number b also eoe eou or units basically in free trade zones epz or SEZ. clear epz or basically s s e z clear Special economic zones clear. EOU units are basically in the free trade zones or EPZs or special economic zones clear. Third one is basically only to certain commodity exporters such as basically cashew or tea clear. Only to basically certain exporter that is basically cashew or tea clear. Option number D is A and B above clear. So basically it is also extended to the basically this one also clear that is basically units in the free trade zone or epz's or SEZs clear or SEZs clear so answer is basically option number d that is a and b above clear that is basically a and b above clear a and b above clear now move to the question number 163 clear now move to the question number 163 so question number 163 basically so please go through the question very carefully and understand clear the drawn on Juzans, clear basically the drawn on Juzan, that is basically documents against acceptance basis, clear the drawn on Juzans, basically that is documents against acceptance basis are dashed by the bank, clear. If the documents are basically accepted by the bank, clear the drawn on Juzans, clear that is basically bank will pay the money now, basically, and bank will get the money basically from the buyer, clear basically from the buyer on later, clear. So basically, bank will give you the full amount at that time or not. Bank will never give you the full amount clear. Basically, if the you can say that if that is basically of 100 rupees, so bank will give you only 90 to 95 rupees clear. Rest basically they will kept in their hands clear. Rest basically they will kept in their hands so that basically they will later clear. So that basically they will later earn profit on that clear. So basically they will later earn profit on that clear. So basically they will earn later profit on that. Okay, so basically purchased, discounted, negotiated, or nine or none clear or none clear. So please tell fast what is the correct answer. What is the correct answer here? So basically, bank will always purchase basically at discount clear. Basically, bank will always purchase at discount so that basically you will be on profit on that clear. Basically, you will be on profit on that clear. So basically, it depends upon case to case clear. It depends upon case to case. Basically, what you want clear. Basically, it depends upon case to case. Basically, what you want. Okay. So the option number B is the answer that is discounted. Clear. So option number B is the answer that is discounted. Clear. Are discounted by the bank. Clear. The drawn on Juzan that is basically documents against acceptance basis are basically discounted by the bank. Clear. Are basically discounted by the bank. Clear. Now move to the next question. Question number one hundred sixty-four. Clear. One hundred sixty-four. Clear. Please go through the question very carefully. 
last one that is basically this one is basically related to the inco terms here inco terms so basically a loan customer of your branch clear basically a loan customer basically of your branch proposes to import clear basically proposes to import certain essential raw materials clear proposes to basically import certain essential raw materials of good quality clear basically certain essential raw materials basically of good quality which is available under import license provisions only clear basically which is available under import license provisions only clear so he wants your guidance basically as to on what trade contract terms and import license clear basically an import license basically is normally issued by the dgft offices clear basically by the dgft offices first one basically it is on the caf basis caf this is our second one basically it is on the fob basis third one is basically it is on the c and f basis fourth one is basically it can be on the acid any basis clear as per the discretion of the exporter clear so basically it is generally we should basically on the cif basis clear on the cif basis clear that is cost c for stand sorry c stands for basically cost i stands for basically insurance and f stands for basically freight clear so basically it is an international shipping term clear caf basically it is an international shipping term basically that describes the seller's responsibility clear that describes the basically the seller's responsibility for the cost of shipping freight charges and ensuring the cargo that is being shipped via the ocean or the waterway clear basically via the ocean or the waterway clear basically via the via either basically through the ocean or through the waterway clear so option number a is the correct answer here now move to the next question last question of our today session basically for obtaining basically for obtaining a pre shipment credit clear basically for obtaining a pre shipment credit the exposure shall be clear basically for obtaining a pre shipment credit the exposure shall be clear the the exporter should have clear basically for obtaining a pre shipment credit the exporter should have confirmed order letter of credit confirmation letter basically from the buyer to make the payment so which one of these is the correct clear basically which one of these is the correct here clear which one of these is basically the correct one clear a and b b and c a and c none of the above clear so let's go through the question once again so basically for obtaining a pre shipment credit clear basically for obtaining a pre shipment credit the exporter should have confirmed order yes one letter of credit there is not confirmation letter basically from the buyer to make the payment yes this one is also correct clear so here basically a and c are correct here so option number c is the correct answer clear option number c is the correct answer clear that is a and c clear sorry letter of credit is required sorry sorry for obtaining a pre shipment credit the exporter should have basically confirm order yes letter of credit also is yes. clear not this one clear letter of credit is also required clear letter of credit is also required clear so basically this one is correct one and this one is correct one clear so option number a is the answer that is a and b clear not this one basically option number a is the answer that is a and b clear so for obtaining a basically pre shipment credit basically the exporter should have confirmed order yes letter of credit yes clear so basically both a and b are correct so option number a is the correct answer that is a and b clear that is basically a and b clear so in this session basically we have to discuss up to this much point clear hope it is clear to all of you and i request to all of you basically many students are not able to answer so please revise the topic once again so that you are able to understand all the things so thanks to all of you for joining this session